issue. We got a tough case that needs your help. Welcome to Loopmancer, a 3D platformer roguelike action game in a cyberpunk universe, developed using the Unreal Engine 4 to create a realistic art style. The story takes place in the year 2046 at Dragon City, a dynamic futuristic eastern metropolis and one of the most populous and economically powerful cities in the world. Brain computer interfaces, AI, bionic prosthetics, and nanobiotechnology have become ubiquitous. Despite the highly developed society, a huge gap exists between the rich and poor. You play as Zhang Jishu, a detective whose family was lost to him. You were unfortunately killed while investigating a case of a famous reporter who went missing, only to find yourself awake on your apartment bed before you could accept your final moments, with vivid memories of your mission as well as your death. Before you had any idea what's going on, a colleague from your agency called you regarding investigating a case of a famous reporter who went missing. You will loop through multiple cycles of life and death throughout your game. Loopmancer is a story-driven work that places great emphasis on character building. As a roguelike game, every loop would change the stage layout and process. We are also doing everything we can to create a natural connection between the story and the roguelike mechanics. Every time you get killed, you will wake up again at your apartment and start your loop again. Death isn't necessarily bad because Zhang Zhishu's memories will sync with your progress. You will remember your lessons when you face the same situation to avoid the same tragedy. The intel you gleaned will gradually unveil the secret behind the case, even the whole picture. When you return to the same scene in the next loop, you will be able to make better decisions and exercise better judgment so as to steer the story's progress as you want. As the story progresses, you will start caring about key characters and slowly acquire the skills required to take on bigger responsibilities and change the story itself. The entire game offers seven endings with shocking and deep revelations. Different choices will affect the fate of key characters as well. How long does it take to get from Long Shi Town to Koga Sea Base? Don't waste your time on it. There's no way you can do it. Zhang Zhichu is an extremely skilled detective. He is not afraid to fight his opponents head on and can easily navigate around obstacles and traverse between building towers and platforms. You will have over 100 types of weapons and items to acquire as you explore the stages. We made every effort to formulate these weapons in order to give them a unique feel of combat. This is a quick glance at a few melee weapons. The Sky Splitter is a spear with good reach. You can also throw darts and other secret weapons between your moves. The Katakana is a deadly weapon that allows you to decapitate with style. In addition to basic attacks, each melee weapon also comes with a unique overkill move. Score combo hits to build up your power, and once you've had enough, you can unleash the overkill. Now observe how the mighty Lava Gunblade destroys the opponents efficiently. The arsenal holds around 40 melee weapons for you to find and acquire. Let's take a look at a few firearms. Use the SMG to unleash suppressive fire on the enemy. Eviscerate your enemies with a powerful arc gun. Use the blast pistol to plant enemies with multiple delayed explosion rounds. Then, sit back and enjoy the fireworks. There is also a diverse selection of tactical gear that may help out your battles. Throw glass bottles to disrupt the enemy's attack. Plant mines for a surprise attack. You can even deploy turrets and drones to help you deal with the opponents. Several months ago, Zhang Zhixu and his family had a tragic car accident that killed his daughter while he himself lost his left arm. Eager to start investigating this questionable car crash quickly, Zhang asked Dave Ray, a colleague and mechanist at the detective agency, to give him a prosthetic limb. Install different chips on the prosthetic limb to unleash special skills. The pyroblast chip lets you ignite every enemy before you. Use the Voltaic Zone Chip to create a protective Voltaic Shield around yourself that deals electric damage to surrounding enemies. The Ice Eruption Chip lets you devastate the enemy on both sides. You will face a large variety of factions and enemies. Use these four weapons smartly to improve your chances of survival. In addition to weapons and items, you can unlock permanent moves and tenacity with the cores you collected in your previous loops every time you wake up at your apartment. Melee Parry lets you deflect enemies' bullets or thrown projectiles. You will no longer feel enemy ranged attacks. 
Shield Parry lets you block enemy melee attacks and slow them down. Dodge will no longer be your only option against enemy ambushes. Next, let's take a look at a passives. Shadow Blast lets you leave a shadow bomb when you dodge an enemy melee attack at the last moment. Narrow Escape lets you take and survive a lethal attack from the enemy, as though you miraculously revived on the spot. Unlock and learn these skills to fundamentally change your tactics in various combats. You will only become stronger and go further in your quest. As your investigation probes deeper, you will realize that this case is far more complicated than you think. You will face powerful organizations with untold ties with each other. Three major forces will try to stop your efforts in learning about the truth. Long Shi Gang, led by Wei Long, is the most powerful criminal organization in Dragon City. The gangsters are a vile bunch of murderers and racketeers. They include hooligans armed with knives and spears, as well as martial pugilists with great skill. Some of them may be boomers, rigged up to a grenade with an adrenal chip designed to make them even more easily triggered. You'll also face an underground boxer, juiced up with mutagens designed to extend his professional career. And if you press too hard, keep in mind that Wei Long has purchased a one-ton military mech suit from Dragon Motor just to deal with you. Koga Industry, a powerful clan-based corporation that provides security services with bionic humans. Hiroyuki Ogata is the head of their force. This extremely skilled soldier is reputed to be the best in Dragon City. These bionics come in various models are all extremely skilled in combat. Watch out for ninjas with optical camo. They will turn invisible when they see you to launch ambushes. Teleporting ninjas have the powerful mobility chips designed to instantly move between platforms and hunt you down relentlessly. The large cyborg tank is designed to overwhelm enemies with their size. They're a force to be reckoned with. Finally, the most fearsome opponent will be Hiroyuki Ogata himself. If you fight him, the slightest mistake will bring you back to your apartment. Don't be dismayed. The undefeated champion will eventually grow arrogant and belittle his opponent. If you can survive against my blade for one minute, you win. You need to learn from your defeat and the loop is your training ground. You will eventually defeat the best in Dragon City, as long as you don't give up on yourself. Song Boyong, a genius in the field of AI and neuroscience technologies, will be your most mysterious opponent. After the murder of his wife many years ago, Song Boyong disappeared from sight. Your investigations at Ditch Village will eventually reveal how he operated and schemed in the dark for revenge. Armed with the super AI Tian Wu developed by himself, Song Boyang has prepared a terrible plan for vengeance. If you cannot stop him, the entirety of Dragon City will face a devastating change. Your investigations on the disappearance of Lisbeth will take you across seven magnificent and intricately designed stages, each with its unique set pieces and elements. These include Longxi Town, celebrating a folk festival during the setting sun, Ditch Village, a decaying settlement abandoned due to a terrible epidemic. Koga Industry, a family business that originated in Japan and moved to Dragon City later. Tang Dynasty Hotel, an extravagant establishment that integrates traditional Eastern elements with modern aesthetics. A bionic human training base converted from an oil rig out in the open sea during sunset. A riverside slum caught in a lightning storm and brutal gang warfare. And finally, Thompson Technology, a company with dirty secrets and the root of all evil in the story. When you arrive at the stage in a new loop, the layouts and events will change to keep your experience fresh. Stages are connected to each other based on the story's progress and your choices. Choose different stages and complete certain requirements to trigger a butterfly effect and change how the story goes. Your skills and choices will determine the fate of key characters and the entirety of Dragon City. In addition to their unique vista, every stage also features fitting gameplay elements. In Ditch Village, the locals set up devious traps and trip wires rigged to shotguns and grenades to ambush the invaders. Exercise caution and evade these traps. But you can also try luring your enemies to their own traps. On stormy days, Exposed rooftops and streets of Longxi Town can be pretty perilous as lightning has a habit of striking these places. Be careful and try to stay under a roof, 
if you have the guts. You can try luring your enemies out into the open for natural electrocution. Platformers and lever puzzles dot the stages. These minigames will not be overly difficult in the fast-paced action game. But keep in mind that it is roguelike and layouts will change. There are many interactive elements similar to them in the game, so try to use them to your advantage. Players with GeForce RTX can activate ray tracing and NVIDIA DLSS to experience ultimate graphics quality and AI-powered performance boosts. Ray Trace Reflection Tech gives you an immersive experience of the world of 2046, ranging from the festive spirits in the pavilions and stacks, the blinding neon lights in the heart of Dragon City, the thunderstorms of Feng Li Walled City, and the creepy darkness of a decaying village. NVIDIA DLSS technology will give you an excellent boost in performance. Enjoy a smoother and augmented gameplay as you progress through various stages and overwhelm the challenges thrown at you. NVIDIA Reflex integrates GPU and game optimizations to give a dynamic reduction in system lag. This can be activated in all GeForce 900 or better graphics cards to give you a significant advantage in reflex time and fast-paced combat where every millisecond counts. Have you ever wanted to kill some time before your actual investigations? Are you short on cash for that special weapon upgrade? There is an arcade machine in the agency that pays true players and winners. Drive a flying car and weave through city towers to earn points and rewards. Don't let the sense of defeat get into you, because you can always head out of the office and see if you can get lucky in this loop. <laughs>